Lord Jesus Christ. And once again, I want to welcome you in this particular time so that we can share the word of God. We thank God that he has given us this opportunity to hear the word of God. And today's sermon, I want to share with you trusting God in tough times. And I want to read Habakkuk 3, 17 to 18. And this is what the Bible says. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crops fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stores, yet I will rejoice on the Lord, I will be joyful in God my Savior. I want to say that uh, these words are written when Habakkuk was going through very love time. He's also complaining because of the lampant wickedness in the land. And Habakkuk is seeking the Lord, wanting to know when God will act to the problems that are there in the land. And God answers him by telling him that he's going to do something in his days. In chapter number 3, God has not yet done anything. And this is what is making Habakkuk to say that though the fig tree does not bud, though the olive crops fail, though there are no sheep in the pen, when all these things and others are not there, Habakkuk is saying, he will rejoice in the Lord, he will be joyful in God, his Savior. And today, I want us to learn some few lessons that can help us to trust the Lord during tough times. And one of the things that Habakkuk did is that he actually remembered what God had done in the past. And even for us, we need to remember the things that God has done for us in the past. So that we can have that confidence that God is there for us, even when we are going through very rough times. And Habakkuk 3.2, the Bible says that the Lord I have heard of your fame, I stand in awe of your deeds. O oh Lord, renew them in our days. Habakkuk is telling God that he can remember or he have heard stories of what he did in the past. He is telling God that he can remember or he have heard the amazing things that he did in the past. The many miracles that he actually did. And Habakkuk is reflecting back to the time when the Israelites were in bondage. And the way God delivered them from that bondage and carried them through the wilderness up to the promised land. And therefore, he is actually telling God, I remember what you did to our fathers. And he's saying, if you did it to our forefathers, you can also do it for us. And therefore, Habakkuk is reminding God of the many things that he had done in the past. And even for us, we need to look back and remember the faithfulness and the character and the goodness of our God in the past. And I can tell you for sure that God has been very faithful for us in the past. There are many things that he had done for us in the past. And therefore, if he did it for us in the past, we can still trust him to help us when we are going through tough times. And after that, the second thing that we can learn from Habakkuk is that it is good to accept what God is doing right now. God is doing something. Although I would say that sometimes we can pray 
and the answer does not come out quickly as we would like for it to come and so we accept what God is doing right now even if we don't like it very much so there is something that God is doing though we may not like that thing that God is doing I can tell you that it is good to accept what God is doing I want to believe with all my heart that when Paul asked God to remove the thorn in the flesh and God could not be able to do it I believe that Paul was somehow depressed I want to believe that somehow Paul was angry with God but when God spoke to him and told him my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness if there is something that has happened in your life and you don't like it sometimes you have to accept it even if you don't like it trust God because he knows what he is doing and if you allow God to do his work I can assure you that God will not disappoint you God will definitely bless you in whatever situation that you are in the third thing is that we have to trust God in whatever he is doing right now we trust God because he is doing something yet I will wait patiently for the day of calamity to come on the nation invading us so Habakkuk is trusting God what he is doing to the nation that is invading them he is trusting God to handle the situation and also to take care of the things in the future so we need to entrust our future before God we need to release our our everything before God because God if God did it in the past God is doing it right now and he is also going to do it in the future so let us have faith in God and know that God is doing something concerning our situation concerning our problems concerning the challenges that we are going through and I thank God because when Habakkuk realized that God was in control he crossed with very beautiful expressions of faith that we can be able to say even like now that though the fig tree does not bud and there are no grapes on the vines though the olive crop fails and the fields produce no food though there are no sheep in the pen and no cattle in the stores yet i will rejoice on the lord i will be joyful in god my savior and i want to ask you two questions which can help us to handle every situation when we find ourselves in and one of the questions that i want to ask you is this do you are you able to say like habakkuk when you lose your job when you are unable to pay for your bills when your marriage is at the verge of corruption when you fall sick or when a problem which is persisting has come to your life are you able to say like habakkuk that all even though if all these things happen to me i will rejoice in the lord can you be able to say that that now that i'm sick now that I, uh, things are not going the way I would like them to go, can you be able to say that even if I'm going through this situation, I will rejoice in the Lord? Number two, the other question I want to ask you is this. Are you a Christian who have a God of the good times? And what I mean by that is this. Do you under praise God when everything is going the right way? Do you only have that God who is God of good times? But this hour, I want to encourage you and tell you this. Have the God of the Bible. Have the God of the Bible. 
and the reason why I'm telling you this is, is because sometimes the fig tree will not bud. Sometimes there will be no grapes on the vine. Sometimes olive crops will fail. Sometimes we will, we will produce no food. There will be no sheep in the pen. And there will be no cattle in the storm. When you find yourself in this kind of a situation, if you have God who is a God of good times, I can tell you that you are going to be discouraged. But when you have the God of the Bible, I can assure you that you are going to say like Habakkuk, that even if all those things will not be there, you are going to rejoice in the Lord who is your Savior. We may not be able to know what the future holds for us. But one thing that I'm sure of is that God is the one who holds our future. Number two, your problem may be bigger than you are. But it is not bigger than your God. Get that very clearly. That though your problems look as if they are bigger or it is bigger than you. I want to tell you that that problem that you are having right now, that challenge that you are facing right now, is not bigger than your God. And finally, you may not have all the answers or understand what is going on right now. But God is never confused. God is never confused or he is not sidetracked by any situation. Just like Habakkuk, he realized that there was that God of the past who did miracles to the Israelites. And therefore, he was trusting God for him to be able to help them even in the situation that they were in. And of course, he accepted what God was doing. And finally, he was able to trust God for what he would do in future. And that is the message I have for you. That during the last time, when you have very tough times, you can be able to trust the Lord and God is going to carry you through. Have confidence in God, have faith in God, trust him the more and definitely you are going to see the victory. You are going to see the deliverance of the Lord in Jesus' name. Be blessed.